I will open the isolated footing example file to explain these concepts in some detail. Column position is a table of x, y, and z values which specify column locations. You can view and edit positions of columns using this table, or you can create columns by inputting x, z, and y coordinates into an empty row. It's often useful to reference the column positions when performing other tasks with STAD Foundation Advanced. For example, if you want to create piles on the supports in a mat job, it's simple to copy the column position values from the table and paste them into the pile position table to create the piles in the same location as the supports. You can also copy the values into Excel, edit them using Excel's more advanced editing tools, and then paste them back into the table. The appropriate changes will automatically be applied to the supports. The column position table is key to a setup foundation plan for the entire project. The program produces the general arrangement drawing, or GA drawing, based on these column positions. The GA drawing helps the user to check for foundation overlaps and choose proper foundation types. Column dimension provides customization input for the column dimensions. First, it should be noted that columns are not shown in the geometry view. What you see here are the footings. Therefore, any changes you make to the column orientation or dimensions aren't physically shown in this view. If a pedestal is considered, the user can either omit column dimensions or keep the default values, because neither of them will be used. If there is no pedestal, then for each support you must choose either a rectangular or circular shape. Specify the appropriate dimensions. For rectangular, the length and the width, and for circular, the diameter. If you want to check for compressive development length, enter the column reinforcement diameter. The diameter of the dowels is set to the column reinforcement diameter to more simply calculate the compressive development length. The column utility factor is used to decrease or possibly increase the minimum compressive development length. STAD Foundation Advanced allows the user to create libraries of anchor bolt layouts. To create a new library, click Add Library and give it a name. And then specify all of the anchor bolt information for your first layout. Multiple layouts can be created for each library. You can also edit existing libraries with the Select Existing Library tool. The creation of Anchor Bolt libraries simplifies the standardization of Anchor Bolt layouts. For each support, you can choose whether to include a pedestal. If so, specify the pedestal height and length if the column is rectangular, or the height and diameter if the column is circular. To include anchor bolts, specify the library name of the layout you wish to use, and then the layout name. It is possible to specify pedestal dimensions without the anchor bolt layout if it is not known. STAD Foundation Advanced checks the required minimum pedestal dimension against the selected anchor bolt layout. If needed, the pedestal dimensions will be adjusted to accommodate the anchor bolt layout. All reactions are superimposed from the point at which the column comes in contact with the foundation to the bottommost point of the footing. For example, a moment will be created on the bottom of the footing if there is a lateral force acting on the pedestal. Pedestal height is included in these calculations. Thank you for watching.